Hi, I'm Frank Kirkovic, and I'll just give you an introduction here on how to use Inspiration for mind mapping software. So here it is located in my dock. I'll just click that, and if it's not there, you could add it from your Applications folder here, or simply go to the Spotlight and start typing in Inspiration, and it'll be the top hit. So you see Inspiration has opened here. It starts off with a main idea bubble, and I'll just create a mind map on myself. So I've typed in my name there, and the fastest way is to go to Rapid Fire. So now I'll type in new words and new bubbles will be created all around. So I'll just create some headings here. I'll say my hobbies, my nationality, oops, my interests, and perhaps my family. And I'll just click to turn that off. So I see I've got four bubbles here, and I'm also going to add in some more bubbles for the hobby. So I'll just repeat that process. Go to the end here. Click on Rapid Fire. Type in my headings. You'll see they're all added around there. And with my family. And then with my nationality, I'll just put in one. So you see there will be mine. And now it's a bit crowded, so I want to spread them out. So I can just simply click and rearrange the bubbles into a way I see fit. Alternatively, if I click here, hold the click, and move the cursor over, see those two bubbles have been selected, and they can be slided, slid over together in one go. I'll do the same for here. And spread them out again. Now within these bubbles, you're also able to add pictures. Here's your library here. So I'll click on that one picture. And I'll check out what's available. I'll go down to Geography and select Flags. You see there's a Canadian flag there. Now one thing you shouldn't do is click and drag this to put on top. As you see, there they are not connected, so I'll delete that simply by pressing delete. Now, because I have these squares around, if I click that, the flag, the picture will be inserted into the bubble automatically. So I'll just see if I can find a few others here. I'll just put in some crayons for that one. Move it over, and these pictures can also be resized. And I would like to color code mine so that all my hobbies are the same color. So I'm going to highlight all the bubbles. And down here you see you have a fill color. So I'll make all of those ones purple. And that's just the line color. So I'll just make it black. I can do the same for these ones. And I'll just move them over a bit closer. If you would like to change change font, I would like these ones all the same. So I'll just go down to here, choose which one I prefer. If you want bold, italic, or underlined. If you want to change the color of the font as well, I'll make it white. So let's say for my interests, instead of doing the rapid fire, I can also use this. I'm just Click one of those and it will also add a bubble for me as well. I won't do that for now, so I'll just delete it. And I can go into the outline area here and it will give a list of all the things I have. And you could also create your mind map in this format. Just to go back to the picture, you would click on the diagram. Now what you can also do is add in your own pictures. So you see I'll click on this box, go to edit, and I'll go to insert graphic. Now the fastest way is if you had your picture saved on the desktop. Now I have one there already. And I just click on the picture. And I'll click open. And you see it's quite large, so I'll have to resize it. As you can see, I may need to rearrange all my things again just to tidy it up.
Now, if I would like to also create a link from this art bubble to my parents, I could simply click on this diamond, and they're located, there are four here. So I could just click, and drag it over to there, and it could be pasted. And these can also be moved around into different areas if you wish. And you can also add text onto the line. So I've clicked in here. I'll say my sister is also interested in art. So let's say if what you can also do is change the direction of the line. So I'll just delete that. And one way you could do is by simply deleting and redoing it, but you can also go to a link and change your arrowhead direction. And you can also go to in some effects and if you would like to change the line thickness or the, the type of line or the line color. You can also add some uh, sound. So I've clicked on the picture and I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to sound. And I can record my voice. You see you have it here. I'll just click on the record button. And I can just start recording here, say, hello, this is me. I'll save that. You'll see there it is there. And I can just start recording here, say, hello, this is me. And you can see that the quality is not so great as well. And one tool that you can also use Inspiration for is for presentation purposes. So you see next to all these bubbles, they have a collapse button. If I was going to make a presentation of myself, I could present this way, saying these are the topics that I will be talking about. So let's say that's done. What I'm going to do now is go into File to save it. And you see when you save, your main idea is automatically saved as a title. I'm going to save mine on the desktop. I'm going to shrink this here. You see there it is there. You can also change the view of this. And another interesting thing that you can do is you can go to File and you can export it. So I'm going to export mine as a JPEG. I'll click Save. I'll put it on the desktop again. And you see here it is here. I'll just open that. Now within Inspiration there are a few other good uh, templates. So if you go File, Open Template, You'll see there are several other options here available. Those are pretty much the basic elements that you need to get started.